What's going on, everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. And before we get into this game of the year, I want to show you exactly what the lineup is looking like. Now, I've seen a lot of your requests to see another one of my lineup exposed videos where I go into what's been going on. But we have unlocked uh, 94 overall OBJ. And um, it is a no money spent grind in which I streamed earlier right here on YouTube. Uh, you could go ahead and check out my previous stream. I only have one for like the last however long time because I haven't done it in a while. So you go ahead and check out how I did it. I go over the team leaders. Uh, it's a thorough video. I have gameplays in it. It's about three hours long. So you can skip and go through what you want to know as far as what team leaders you should keep, how you do the set, how to get OBJ and all that stuff like that. All the solos I had to do. And everything like that I discuss and show you thoroughly. So a lot of people that had a lot of questions about how I've been doing everything and grinding it out. It's a straight no money spent grind for OBJ. Obviously, I had to spend money for um, the Ladanian Tomlinson that fumbles every game for me. Uh, that clown right there who I'm probably going to get rid of very, very soon. Probably going to go with uh, Gurley. Or I might just hold off a little bit and see what's going on. But we'll get to that in a second. But I, I paid like a $2 a pack. I paid like $18. So pretty much my team... Uh, most of it is no money spent. Um, so as far as the OBJ goes, though, that's all coins from doing Gauntlet and um, what's the other thing? And the journey and everything like that. So I put all that stuff into that to get the players needed to get the extra uh, team leaders and stuff like that to get 94 OBJ. Again, all of that is explained thoroughly. This guy had to fumble the ball right quick. But all of that is thoroughly explained in that stream that I just did. So feel free to like skip through it. You don't got to watch the whole thing. Some of you guys are very happy that I put out a three-hour video. Some guys are very impatient. Whichever way, I'm trying to make everybody happy. Obviously, I know I can't do that, but we can try, right? So go ahead and skip through it. See all the information you need, all the tips that I give you about about how I got gold and silver tokens, and you could go from there. But I'm going to tell you something, right? Listen, this guy right here that I'm playing, this dude is a decent player. Now, I know you guys are used to me saying everybody's garbage, which I believe every opponent that I play, he's garbage. Like, I don't give... While we're playing Madden, I hate you. You know what I'm saying? You could be my brother, my mom's, my grandmother, whoever. I hate you while I'm playing Madden. But after we're, we're done playing the game, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Everything is good. We can go and talk, chill, you know, probably go to the bar, throw a couple back, stuff like that. But I hate you thoroughly when I'm playing Madden. And it's just something about Madden. Maybe it's because my love for football, whatever, because I can play NBA 2K and not care. Well, I'm lying. I'm very competitive. I hate you regardless of what I'm doing, anything competitive. But this guy right here, you see, he was doing certain things that I didn't really pick up on because it was the first time that I streamed on YouTube in a while, so I wasn't really uh, inclined. You're going to see later on in the video where it comes down to like the nitty-gritty that... I still wasn't paying attention and I'm trying to be so involved with the guys in the chat and the girls that were there earlier because that's pretty much why you stream. You know what I'm saying? To interact with your chat and do stuff like that. Plus, I was getting a lot of new sponsorships. People were donating to me. So I want to show appreciation for that. That means a lot to me when you guys take time out of your schedule to hold it down with me. So this guy right here, I'm not saying that he wasn't a good player because I made mistakes, but he had a lot of offensive plays that were very, very difficult based on the way that I play defense. Now... You know, like, with, with the way he's scrambling right here, look, I thought that I was going to be able to pick that. They gave me that animation with Julius Peppers where he dove with one arm out and then he flew on the ground like a complete idiot. Those things are going to happen. Um, it's been happening over the last couple of years with Madden. But in all fairness to Madden, it, this, this Madden right here is a much better game completely than 17. 17 was a nightmare. You guys can feel free if you want to see me rage uncontrollably to watch all of my Madden 17 and 18 videos right here on YouTube. And you're going to definitely enjoy the maximum rage and see how calm I am now to actually dictate a video because they've, they've added a lot of key features. Um, the game isn't perfect. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like You're not going to get everything you want, but if you have been playing Madden for as long as I have, you would understand my frustration. And by the way, that team leader, Jason Witten, is a whole goon, bro. I know he's slow, but if you watch that stream, like my past broadcast with the stream, you'll see, bro. He has um, a 75 run block. He has a very, very good catch in traffic. And to be honest with you, he holds onto the ball a lot more than any other receiver on my team. And that's including OBJ and Randy Moss, uh, the GOAT, that's maxed out at 87 overall. So I'm just letting you guys be aware of that. Um... Uh, I, I didn't want to get him initially, and then I realized after seeing his run block with the way that I run the ball that it's probably useful to me to probably get him, and it worked out for us, man. Shout out to everybody that was in the stream and, you know, helped me with actually picking up my team leaders. That was very, very appreciative. And um, to touch again on the stream times for YouTube, in most cases, I'm going to be streaming in the AM, depending on my schedule. You guys can go ahead and drop in the chat right here what times you would like me to stream, and I'll see what I can do. This right here infuriated me beyond any type of means, bro. What is going on? How? Who? Bro, what chem? And then the dudes that were in the stream like, yeah, he got return man chem. Is that return man chem right there? That's holy ghost chem, bro. 
Like the like the Lord Jesus is on that man. How, bro? He broke nineteen tackles. He broke nineteen tackles, man. Nineteen. How is he doing that? That is completely and utterly ridiculous. And that's sim- it's simply what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's simply what it is. So all I'm gonna say is this, man. At the end of the day, the dude came out and then, yeah, we got picked up right there. It was three guys. That was a bad read. I should have took the uh, drag route, but I didn't. It is what it is. That was a bad read by me. But I was, yo, I was fuming, fuming, fuming. If you want to hear the live feed about that, just skip to the portion of this video in the uh, actual stream that I did uh, because it's part of that three-hour stream that I'm telling you guys to go back to if you're looking for certain informations about how I got OBJ and what I did in the grind and stuff like that. Um, But, yeah, getting back to the game. So now, because that happened, I was very, very angry. So, you know, when you're playing Madden and something happens that you don't like, I'm going to make sure you guys and girls understand this. Be very, very careful how you let your emotions loose because EA is just waiting for you to get wild and try to do something that's just not going to... Like, what is that? You see, e, they, they were trying me, bro. They were really trying me, this, uh, you know, in this game, but I'm not going to let them get the best of me. I'm not... They, they're just not going to be able to get the best of me, bro. Like, I'm not going to allow EA Sports to make me have to go take high blood pressure, you know, high blood pressure medication. I'm not going to ruin my health anymore. Like, I've already lost so many years of my life playing 16 and 17 that I'm not even... You know what I'm saying? Like... It's not, it's not even that serious to me anymore. Like, I'm just going to try to be as competitive as I can and, you know, make the best reads that I can. I went for it on 4th of 16 right there because I was just done. I, yo, D-U-N. I was just straight done. I didn't care what happened and all that kind of stuff like that. And EA was like, all right, let me let this man catch the ball. Right here, we just had to hit him with a hot, bro, a hot one. Because he, you know what's funny about what he was doing? The reason that I tell you that this guy's a good player is because he was able to adjust to mostly everything I was doing. Now, a lot of the stuff that he was doing, obviously he had great, he had, he had a decent D-line, you know, White, uh, Reggie White, a lot of these guys on his D-line that are like legends or whatever. Right here, LT. He is so garbage, man. I, I gotta get, look, guys, if you did the level master LT, he's not living up to anything that was promised. And I'm letting you know right now, as soon as I get a chance to figure out where I want to go, I'm getting rid of him. Just so you guys have the heads up. I know I spent money on him. I know I can't raid sell him, but it, it, he's just really, really terrible at this point. He started off really, really good, and he just started doing whatever he wants. I can't, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't operate. How was this guy? What? Bro, how, yo, I don't understand what's going on, but this guy knew exactly what I was trying to do, and he, you see, you, oh, oh, he jumped it. Oh, ah, oh, he caught me. He caught me. See, if I'd have kept running to that side for the slant, I would have got that pick. But, um, because my dude jumped off of the block. You see how this guy's blocking my lineman that's trying to blitz off the edge? Um, that was, just, that was a key play right there. And like I said, this guy had great pocket presence, so it wasn't, he, it was just a very, very um, ridiculous... Oh, right. Oh, okay. Okay, they gave me an animation from 17. Now, look, I'm not proud of that animation, but that is OBJ, so I'm going to go ahead and take it. Like, I'm not going to act like I don't appreciate what EA is trying to give me a little something because this dude right here... Okay, I led past that ball all the way to the left. I almost broke my analog stick, leading it to the left because I recognized the corner blitz off the snap before I made my read. And in past Maddens, before, se- before 17 and 16... If the dude was doing a corner blitz and you led past it to the outside, it would go all the way, like, to the sideline, like, almost about to hit the coach in the face, like, that deep in the sideline. Okay, right there, I had, I had changed my D up, and he wasn't expecting that. He thought I was going to stay with the blue zone. I, I changed the route, so he was able to pick that. And, of course, he's going to run extra slow so he can be tackled from behind. So that's just – it is what it is, man. I, I miss the days where people could run their regular speed the whole time and not have to, like, do all these other things. But it is what it is, man. All right, so look. Speaking of all that stuff that just happened, right? Now we're trying to go for it. Obviously, Randy Moss is garbage. It's the fourth quarter. What are we going to do? We got to try to make a read. I'm looking at that now. See, OBJ made that. Okay, no, nah, I'm not going to throw it to him. I'm, oh, I threw it to him anyway. Yeah, that was stupid. He ran up the field. I mean, he played that perfect. I tried the playmaker. It didn't work. That was great defense by him to stay with it. Um, he ran sag D on that play. I had to try to make the best play possible, and I didn't. That, it is what it is, bro. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to make excuses for my bad play. You know what I'm saying? But... At the end of the day, we got to keep fighting until the end. And I tell you guys, once you subscribe to Maya's world, you automatically become a winner. You know what I'm saying? Like, you probably was a chicken dinner before you watched this video and you were watching other YouTubers that do Madden and stuff. You were probably a whole chicken dinner. Now you're automatically, automatically a winner, bro. Just because you... Okay, see, right here with quarters, look, I wasn't paying attention right here because I was getting texted. And that's the worst thing, bro, when you're getting texted and you have to answer the text. And the computer gave me that. And obviously, I can't waste the time out. Because it would have just been that kind of situation. I would have lost the game. So he obviously had enough time to sit there, pitch a tent, take my girl out on a date, banger, do mad stuff, and then throw the ball. So, uh, And also, keep in mind that this is this this is his playoff. You see that wild card thing? This is his playoff. So this guy is like, you know what I'm, trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to do his thing. 
Um, right here, I thought I would get the strip, but I didn't have it on strip aggressive. Under coaching adjustments, lurked them. I was sending the blitz, but Sean Taylor, the mutt master, he's such a goon. When you when a dude is running a screen and you're blitzing, Sean Taylor is the easiest guy to click on and pick the ball with. Just 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 a pro tip. If, you know, for watching this video, you just learned something. Be, certain people that you click on, they won't give it to you. But Sean Taylor is always clickable if you're blitzing off if you're blitzing off the edge. I don't know what it is about him, but he's pick the ball, Bradbury. Bradbury gotta go, bro. He a team leader. He ain't no team leader for me, though. That dude is garbage. I'm going to tell you right now, that guy sucks. That was the game. That was going back for probably six. I'm not going to say, or a field goal, and I'm going to win the game by three. But obviously, he didn't have a kicker that can make a, what, a 51-yarder? So he's trying to go for this, bro. Like, I thought you should at least, if you're in first, this is first string all Madden. Like, this is the top of the crop, the top of the crop. All kind, okay, break another tackle. If EA don't cut this out, if you, stop it. EA, yo, I'm about, listen, see, this is what I'm saying, guys. Like, I can't. Yo, man. All right, look. Let me just tell you what we're going to be doing. For all, all my dudes that want to see my uh, my team exposed, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm definitely going to be working on that. Let me know if you want to see that as the next video. If you want to see my team exposed, where I thoroughly go through all my changes. Obviously, we're going into overtime. I got the, you know, he, I think, who got, he went for the toss. He lost the toss. I don't know what he did, whatever, but we're getting the ball back. So I'm thinking like, yo, look, I should be able to score a touchdown, even though this guy's defense is tough, because even though he was running the, uh, the community bum D, uh, cover four, uh, show two out of three, four, uh, odd, whatever that is. Um, he changed it up. Like right now he's running it because he knows I was going to run the ball right here. This should have been a touchdown. I remember this like yesterday, bro. Yo, look. Oh, I mean, what, what the, okay. How did that happen? How did that happen, bro? That was such a tough, yo, I can't, yo, man, th that really, really, that, that made me so upset, bro. I, I was raging uncontrolled. Who the heck? How did he dive that far to do that? I don't know how he did that. Okay, dot him right here. Let's go. Um, I'm noticing that Cooper is much better in the slot, by the way, guys. I know I told you I was trying to get rid of him. I really, honestly, and truly was trying to get rid of him. Um, but he's a much better slot receiver. Now that I got OBJ and Randy Moss, he plays his, he plays the slot very, very well. Um, and the biggest thing, who was he block, Who was number 42 blocking? Because there's a guy right in front of him. I don't, I don't understand why he didn't do that. All right, right there we take the drag. And you know what I'm thinking right now? I, I could have ran that play. I could have hurried up. And ran the same exact play because he wasn't in the defense. No matter what he would have done, even if he would have changed to a cover three or a cover two, whatever, whatever he was in. I think he came out in cover four drop when I ran that drag. It does like, oh, 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 I found a cut all the way in. That was a touchdown. Yo, hindsight 2020. It is what it is. So we're gonna take out three right now. And at this point in the stream, there was a lot of people saying, Oh, yeah, bro, you're gonna lose, you know, like regular trolls, whatever like that. But I only pay attention to my real dudes. You know what I'm saying? When you come in there and show me love, I only speak to my real dudes. We ignore trolls and all my sponsors that that have the globe on YouTube. Um, you guys get to vote if we if you want somebody banned that's like doing stupid things in the chat. So that's what I do, man. I'm there for the dudes that support me. That's who I'm gonna respond to. Right there, he overthrows it. I don't know why Bradbury didn't just pick the ball off. I have no idea what he was doing, but that's what he chose to do. And look, look, right here, you see that play right there? That's been happening for the last three years. Where if you run into a guy, it kind of bounces you out of the way and you can't do anything. This was just a great play by him to throw the ball away right here. Because if you'd have threw it anywhere on the field. I was taking that back for six, bro. I stayed over there purposely. And then I tried not to bump him, and I was strafed up so I could be ready to pick the ball off. And then right there, he's doing the same exact things. And then he's just going to, yo, I, what? Was he outside of the pocket on that? Shouldn't that have been intentional grounding? Was he? I got You guys let me know. Was he outside the pocket? I don't know. Throw this dot real quick, though. Throw it to the inside right there. Yup, dot. In, uh, in route. And I knew that that was coming, and I just didn't play it. I, I didn't play the in route, bro. I, I really just didn't play it. He was making great, great, great reads. Like, this dude is a, one of the most annoying opponents because he knows how to make reads, and he's not really throwing Stevies. So this guy is not the prototypical regular Madden dude, bro. Like, he he knows... Pick! Run! Pick that! Oh, take it for six! Take it, Eric Berry, the biggest goon that's strong safety in the game. The biggest goon that's strong safety. We go, we go, and now we're taking it for six. Like, anybody else out have kneeled out, but we win him by nine in this overtime, bro. And like one of the dudes said, this is straight boss action, bro. We win him by nine. And that's the way it's coming down. And this is a game that we definitely should have lost. But we came up big. We came up in the clutch when we were supposed to. We didn't back down. We didn't quit. We didn't do it. Oh, let me try to DC glitch him. Yo, listen, man. GG's to this opponent. If you know this dude, he gets my respect. This dude can play Madden. You know, he can play Madden. I don't care what Madden it is. I get, look, 
Everybody's a bum to me, and he was a bum this entire game, like my mindset. But in reality, this dude is a solid player. And I would not want to play him again because this dude knows how to make reads. And it just pisses me off when people know how to make reads. Like, I really just like, yo, why you got to make reads for? Why you not doing Stevie's like I be doing, huh? You know what it is? So, look, I got more content coming. Drop that like, subscribe, and become a sponsor when I live stream. One love.